Everyone is getting tired of isekai stories by now. Isekai, anime, manga, and webtoons have been around for a super long time, but I am feeling a little bit of fatigue when it comes to isekai. So what was, of course, the next brain rot genre that I had to consume? Let me tell you, it is taking the world by storm, and it is regression stories. Now before I get into what regression stories are, how they compare to isekai stories, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you're interested in more manga, webtoon, anime, educational content. For some background on me, I'm Brandon Chen. I am a writer producer for original manga and webtoon stories. I run a studio that produces a lot of these things. We got an anime announcement as of last April, which is really exciting for a series called God Game. And yeah, let's get right into the video. What are regression stories? Let's get right into that. Regression stories are basically a very popular trope, especially in the webtoon space. It's basically you go back in time to either your past self or you're reincarnated into like another person, but you have have the same knowledge as the future and you can use that as your advantage to change things that happened in the past which then impacts the future this actually is very popular in webtoons it's an entire genre it does happen occasionally in manga stories i think there's um i guess you could say re-zero is some isekai regression type storyline sort of you could also say that tokyo revengers does an interesting take on the regression storyline basically he goes back in time he's a delinquent uses his knowledge to change the future erased erased is a really good example that one is about a guy in the future goes back into the past as a child and tries to save this girl from getting murdered by a mass murderer that's that's like at their like elementary school or something and he's like an adult in like a child's body it's kind of interesting but if i'm giving some examples of the webtoon stuff which is you know a lot more popular but also very um there's a high quantity of regression webtoons there are a couple sections there's the action fantasy ones stuff like a returner's magic should be special i think that has an anime adaptation as well sword master's younger son return of the crazy demon those are all like they go back in time they change the past they have future knowledge or skills and that's what it is for a regression usually an action series they have future knowledge so they're like super overpowered because they're living their life again usually the opening scene is like i was a super powerful person but for some reason i effed up and i lost to the demon king or i lost to a super powerful enemy and now i'm being killed or i lost for some reason and then i wake up i'm back in my body i have the same like knowledge now i have to like become strong again and overpowered and stop that really bad thing from happening that happened in the opening scene that's usually the trope of the regression stories and how they're structured at the beginning same happens for a lot of the romance series which are you know a little bit different because it's targeting towards women but the way they approach drama is a little bit different usually the way the trope goes is I'm a girl. <laughs> not me but i'm a girl my husband cheated on me and then he pushed me down a pair of stairs and i died and then i woke up and now i'm here to get like revenge right um so usually those types of regression stories are like revenge focused or drama focused like trying to save someone or trying to make their life a little bit better um i know that my friends who are girls that love reading webtoons are super into the like the revenge regression drama series which i find really interesting there's a lot of differences because there are regression stories that appeal to female audiences I think there's a lot less isekai stories that appeal to female audiences. A lot of them are targeting towards men with the kind of, you know, fantasy of like, oh, I teleported to another world and now I have this harem and now I'm fighting all, you know, whatever. It, isekai is isekai, right? But regression stories, they have a female side that's targeting female audiences and then they have the male side targeting male audiences, which is typically like power fantasies leveling up or like um, wuxia type stories where someone is really good at martial arts and does, um, you know, cultivation type stories but it even goes beyond that there's a bunch of like genres like sub genres within the regression trope they get kind of crazy there's like ones where it's like slice of life like oh my god i was a stock trader and then like i lost all my money or something and now i'm regressing back and now i'm a stock trader i know the future which is basically insider trading but legally i guess there's video games there's becoming a doctor wow the lighting just got really dark for some reason because the sun disappeared super sad but yeah as long as you can regress like go back in time there's probably a webtoon out there for it like they have webtoons for literally everything which is kind of insane to me and the producers for the korean series are you like we'll slap regression on literally anything they'll they'll regress anyone from anything because readers just like to see like what happened oh my god like i lost in this video game like what happens if i go back in time and i am overpowered and i can overcome everything because i know everything i don't know why but people eat that shit up i could definitely see the appeal for the revenge stuff though like the revenge stuff when someone does you dirty 
but you get to go back in time and just like mess them up or like just live a better life and get ultimate revenge on that bad person that's that's the guy shot of dopamine right there but anyway i think regression fiction is kind of very similar to isekai in some ways it's kind of brain rotty a lot of the stories feel the same but i do have f find that it's a lot more refreshing than a lot of the isekai stories that i've been seeing recently which you know they're adopted they're adapted usually from from web novels and a lot of them are, are a little bit derivative i'm um, not to say the regression isn't derivative but there's a lot more stuff that's been coming out that is very different you know because you can have those little sub genres within the regression stuff the most innovative stuff that i've seen happening in the isekai space is like you're isekai into like you know becoming like a vending machine or something i don't know you're you're, you're isekai into something like crazy that's not so interesting to me the regression stuff is is quite interesting there are some hidden gems in the regression side and a lot of them are also still brain rot like you just turn off your brain and, and scroll and read the read the series but yeah i don't know if you guys have read any east guy stories that you're really passionate about that you want to put me on let me know maybe i'll make a video about it but if you have any regression webtoons to recommend to you, other people also leave that in the comments i want people to start recommending stuff in the comments your favorite stuff why you think it's good put people on put me on put my producer on my producer is out here and he reads so many webtoons so definitely put us all on some sick series once again thank you guys so much for watching this week's video please make sure to like for the youtube algorithm subscribe and i'll see you guys on next week's video also if you like reading webtoons check out mine also the links in the description peace